Every year, Cyprus is visited by hundreds of thousands of tourists. But long before the tourists started coming, in fact thousands of years before this, migrant birds began using our island as a vital stopover point. And the birds still come today. And although the hundreds of thousands of tourists visiting Cyprus return home safely, hundreds of thousands of our visiting birds go missing during their stopover here. The missing birds are trapped in Cyprus to be eaten, either in restaurants or for domestic consumption. The birds are considered a delicacy and a dozen can cost up to 80 euros, providing huge profits for illegal bird trappers. The Government Game Fund estimates this lucrative illegal trapping business to be worth around 15 million euros a year to the lawbreakers. Bird trapping with the use of mist nets and lime sticks has been illegal in Cyprus since 1974. The competent authorities, the Cyprus Game Fund, the Cyprus Police Anti-Poaching Unit and the Sovereign Base Area Police have been trying to tackle this problem for many years, with a particular effort focused on the period in the run-up to, and immediately after, Cyprus's accession to the EU. Despite these enforcement efforts, systematic monitoring by BirdLife Cyprus, supported by the RSPB, shows a dramatic rise in trapping in recent years. BirdLife Cyprus estimates, on the basis of field data, that hundreds of thousands of birds are still being killed by trappers every year. It's not just the extent of this large-scale bird killing that constitutes an ecological disaster, it is also the non-selective nature of the lime sticks and the mist nets used. Well over 100 species have been recorded trapped on lime sticks and nets, and well over half of these are threatened species. <laughs> Be very careful because something's going to happen to you people. In the last few years, trappers have become increasingly organized, ruthless and blatant, openly threatening and even beating up anti-trapping activists and verbally assaulting bird watchers and other observers. Trapping is so extensive and entrenched in some areas of Cyprus that trappers have gathered in hundreds to protest against the activists and to pass a resolution warning them against ever coming back to Cyprus and to ask for a relaxation of the law. Outrageously, such pro-trapping gatherings enjoy the support of some MPs and local community leaders. Σε ψήφισμα που ενέκρινα χθες βράδυ κάτοικοι παραλιμνίου ζήτησαν ανάμεση αποχώρηση των ευρωπαίων ακτιβιστών. While on the one hand attempting to weaken the anti-trapping legislation in Parliament, some MPs from the main trapping areas also make ludicrous attempts to pull the wool over everyone's eyes. Ποτέ και καμιά άλλη χώρα δεν έχει πετύχει αυτά τα τα επίπεδα προστασίας της βιοποικιλότητας στην Κύπρο. Συμπεριλαμβανομένου μάλιστα και του αμπελοπουλιού και όλων των άλλων, όλων των άλλων ειδών άγριας ζωής. Trapping is rising sharply in Cyprus and represents an ecological disaster and an unacceptable violation of EU nature protection law. Trapping in Cyprus is also a supply and demand issue, with organized criminals making hundreds of thousands of euros. It's clear that a strengthening of all enforcement agencies is needed to meet this challenge and that courts need to at last start imposing deterrent fines. The public, too many of whom eat trapped birds, need to be made aware of the ecological impact of their actions. But above all else, what is called for is real political will to tackle this problem. A clear zero-tolerance message needs to be heard from the mouths of the top responsible officials. Otherwise, birds will continue to go missing in Cyprus.